on this week's news update. A game-changing landing system. How hummingbirds fit into tight spaces. And a fabric that changes shape when heated. First up, when a helicopter loses power, pilots have to carry out a maneuver called an auto-rotation landing. And it must be done before the blades stop spinning. To do this, they have to perform four steps. First, the entry, which stabilizes the aircraft. This needs to be performed within two seconds of the engine stopping. Next, the glide brings the aircraft down. And then the flare to slow the helicopter before finally landing. Until now, it has not been possible to create an automatic safety system that can perform these steps. But engineers at Skyrise have carried out the first successful automatic auto-rotation emergency landing. Using an onboard computer to land the helicopter instead of the pilots. They plan to launch the technology in the new year with the hope of making flying a helicopter much safer. Up next, most birds can fly into tight spaces to search for food by bending their wings. But hummingbirds can't bend their wings when they are flying. To find out how hummingbirds fit into tight spaces to reach insects or nectar, scientists at the University of California carried out a series of experiments. They discovered the birds use two methods. One where they fly sideways through the gap, with one wing pointing forward and the other wing pointing backward. And another, faster method, where the birds stop flapping their wings mid-flight and hold them close to their body, so they can quickly glide through the narrowest of gaps. Scientists noticed that the birds chose this faster approach more often when they became familiar with a tight space giving scientists an insight into the problem-solving and risk assessment skills of hummingbirds, which they hope can inspire future designs for drones or other small vehicles created to fly in tight spaces. And finally, scientists at MIT have created a new kind of fabric called Fiberobo. Fiberobo shrinks when heated, then quickly returns to its previous length when it cools. It was created using a purpose-built machine that produced this new material from a liquid crystal solution. It takes one day to create one kilometer of fiber that can be used in embroidery, weaving looms, and knitting machines to make clothes. To demonstrate the potential for this new fabric, scientists have already created an exercise top using Fiberobo, which contracts during a workout to support the wearer's body as they move. They hope this will be one of the main uses for the new material. Now they are developing a sustainable version that could one day be sold in stores alongside traditional threads, so anyone could potentially make shape-changing clothes. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to sign up at twigsciencereporter.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel at Twig Science Reporter so you never miss our weekly updates. See you next time.